out on the fossils today. It's a little bit muddy, but we will uh, have a little look around and see what we can find. It's one of my favourite places to go for fossils. Get some fantastic pie, right? And a few other bits and pieces. So we'll come back in a second. So this is the location. This is what I've been looking for. The little light section. And you see it's a decent walk all the way down through mud. So tools for this area would usually be a bucket, fill it up with water, scrum brush, and just start scrubbing random rocks. Ooh. Unfortunately, I brought nothing apart from a pick. So it's gonna be interesting to see what we find. We'll have a dig around and then we might just have to wash it up later on and have a look. Just having a look on the surface and I already found a piece. So we've got pie right down one end, which is quite nice, should clean up. And I believe we've got a few little bonies. So we'll give it a little scrub later on when we get home. Anything on the other side? A bit of pyrite, might be some microfossils in there. Another little piece down there. So these might clean up. We'll have to give them a scrub. See what happens. This is why you need a brush and a bucket. Apart from just a pick. But we'll do some surface collecting, see what we can find. They look absolutely rubbish when you first pick them up. I remember the first time they came down there. It just looked like a load of mud rock. And I was really downhearted and I thought, wow, I'll take it, see what it is. And it came out really nice. But we've had terrible weather for fossils at the moment. No rain, lots of sun, so everything's hard. Apart from this, it's all slippy, slippy mud. But we'll have a look in here. Ooh, if I can get up here without falling over. That's what we got. Rubbish, rubbish. Ooh, jeez. Oh, oh. So, yeah. I'll have a dig around. And we'll see what we can find. So I've just started raking through all this. This is all the loose sort of material that's fallen off the cliff edge. And you're just going to go through until you find something that's a bit like this. It's quite solid. Doesn't look like much. But in here it's nice and stony. Now we'll leave everything on here. You need to see the pyrites coming through on this bottom section. So we'll leave this clay here and hopefully when we clean it up there'll be something underneath. I think these little crystal needles on it are aragonite. But basically you're just going to scrape through. It's a long boring job especially when it's been so dry and nothing's washed out at all. But every now and then you look around and it's just beautiful and it's worth the trip. So you're just going to reek through. Oh, have we found something? That might have been a stroke of luck. Uh, Possibly sounds quite hard. A couple of bits here. No, I don't think they're any good. Sound okay, but mm. but that's the sound you're trying to listen out for. That ting of hitting hard rock, because a lot of it's just this horrible shady stuff. Ooh, there's one there. I'm going to take that one, it's all covered and protected again. These could have nothing on, could be wasting me time. But, I've had luck here before. There's another one down there. There he is, there he is. I say it's finding the hard ones. Can't see any pyro on that, but... Chuck in a bag. He might just be covered in mud. Lump in there, lump of something in there. 
some really nice micro fossil around here as well. Get some lovely little micro teeth and things like that. Vertebrae, all sorts. Where are you? There you are. That's a good lump. Big lump of pie right on top. I think it's pie right anyway. Clean up later on. Oh, focus. There we are. Always away. Put the camera away and find one with a good example. See it just there. Don't think it's a tooth. Can't see any striations on it, but it could be wrong. Give me a thumb out of the way. There we are. Just come across this. Lovely little bit of pie, right? That's fantastic. Hopefully on the back, we might have a few fossils, but we'll try later. Collected a few bits off camera. Just on my way home now. I'm gonna walk along the beach. Or the, in the muddy swamp that is. Back to the car. We got about an hour before low tide, but unfortunately this place suffers from the seven bore. So that when it goes to high tide, it changes from what it is now to a beautiful raging torrent about a foot higher. Which trust me after nearly getting stuck in it last time. I do not want to be stuck in it this time. So we're just going to have a nice wander back. I'm going to look around see if anything has washed about. And uh, get home safe. And hopefully start doing a few more videos. Unfortunately I haven't done any lately. Had a bit of heart surgery over Christmas. And a few complications which was fun. Nothing too serious. Still alive and kicking so back out and uh, do some more videos and get hunting. I've got a feeling just in front of me there's a sparrow hawk. It's either that or a very convincing rock. There he goes. No, that is a goth hawk. There we are. I was hoping to get a bit closer to it. Usually, there he goes. Flap, flap, flap. Straight wings. There he goes. Flap, 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 flap. Straight wings again. Amazing. Let's see if we can zoom in on him. Where is he gone? It's going to land in the noise seagulls. Seagulls ignored it. That's surprising. There we go. That's cool. Landed on the log back over there. Now I can guarantee you, if you come here tomorrow, that bird will do exactly the same thing. Because goshawks and sparrowhawks generally fly the same flight paths and they generally land exactly in the same place. They like to be quite repetitive in what they do. They find a strategy, it works, and they stick to it, which is pretty sensible. Um, it was. Uh, this is why it was eaten earlier when I walked down onto the beach. Uh, that was its dinner earlier. Delicious. Personally, I would have barbecued it first, but there you go, and he's just been sat on a rock, probably contemplating either eating some more or just having a little rest. So he's sat. Let's see if we can zoom in. Where is he? There he is, or she. Oh, 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 there he is. Ta da! Just sat over there. I think it's a small female goshawk or a very large female sparrowhawk. Uh, that's why I love being out in nature. You get to see things like that. Not often you get to see a sparrowhawk or a goshawk that close. If I was a little bit more sensible and quieter, I might got a bit closer. Uh, there we are. That's where he is sat. In his intestines, delicious. That looks uh, yummy. Oh, there he is. Caught himself a rabbit. Nice, a good skilled bird to be catching rabbits. 
Usually their poop, although it's in a dollop, is in a nice long straight line with a dollop at the end. There's another bit of poop there. I'm surprised it's poops like that. Bit of a bizarre one to talk about, but always interesting things to look out for when you see dead animals, dead birds, dead rabbits. See what's been eating it and tell why it's poop. It's a bit bigger than uh, this morning. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a decent size, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 